Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how to work with the related posts in Uncode. Related posts appears as an optional area at the bottom of the single post, portfolio or product page. Showing users related content has proven to be an effective way of getting more page views and reducing bounce rate. The related posts have a dynamic query that shows the related items based on the category. So for each page, they can, and probably will, be different. This is exactly the same setup you find when importing full demo content. Anyway, let's see how it's created. First, navigate to the Content Block menu and create a new content block. If you haven't seen the Content Block tutorial video, please check it out. In short, a content block is a fragment of content that can be embedded in one or more pages. A content block can have dynamic content that changes depending on the context. Create or insert a post module. Now I'm pasting a row with a post module that is quite similar to what you have in the demo content. Note that you can use both the back end editor or the front end editor. In this video, you use the backend editor to be more schematic, as we won't need to edit so many layout options. Open the module and set the dynamic query option. This option is essential, since it's responsible for the creation of the dynamic related posts query. I save the content block and. Here we are! Our module is ready to be used. Now we just need to connect it to the post template so that it can be used as related post section in our single blog posts. You can choose to connect the related posts module globally in the theme options or individually per post, portfolio or product page using page options. Since we want to use it for every blog article, we will use it from the global theme options. Navigate to the theme options post, open the tab content and in the option named Content Block, after Content, set the newly created Content Block. If you imported all the demo content, even this option is already set. At this moment, the related post module is linked to our articles. Now, if I make a modification to the Content Block to show you that the change will be applied to all blog posts that use this Content Block, for example, I want to modify the thumbnail ratio. I save the module. I save the content block. And I refresh our single blog posts. Here we are. That's it. Simple and powerful, right? As already mentioned, related posts can also be used for portfolio, pages and products. Let's see how it's possible to create a related post section for your portfolio to be inserted here after the main content and before the navigation and footer area. I start again with a new content block where I have a post module similar to the one you find in the demo contents. In this case, the query is set to portfolio. I make sure the dynamic query option is active. I save the module and I save the content block. Now I repeat the procedure seen before, but in this case, I work in the Portfolio Custom Post Type tab. So I connect the content block in the content block after content option. I save theme options. Let's check the result. I refresh the page. Well, as you can see, I have connected our new related posts module to our single portfolio pages. 
so from now on I can modify the layout according to my needs, thanks to all the options of the post module to better integrate it into my design. Until now, we have seen how to use the related post in their most common use, so we have a number of related elements based on a category algorithm. But what if we wanted to show all the portfolio items, so to have a portfolio summary with all the available works? Simple, just set all as number of items and remove the dynamic query option. I also apply some changes to the layout, for example I transform this carousel in a grid, I reduce the gap, I remove the title element since I want a minimal layout, and I set the width to 3 twelfths to have smaller thumbnails. I save the module and I save the content block. Now if we check back a portfolio page, our related posts presents all the projects except the main project of the page itself, so a user can navigate to all the other portfolio projects. In short, it only excludes the project we are in to avoid repetition. This is a solution that is widely used to create the related posted of portfolios by many designers. Maybe you have already seen it. Remember that to create your related post design, whether it's for portfolios, blog posts, as in this example, or products, you have plenty of options in the posts module, or you can also use the wireframes plugin. How to do it? Simple. Let's open the content block we created for the related posts of the blog, delete the content, and import a new section among those. For example, let me find the one I want. Here we are, the stage padding carousel. I open the module and I set the dynamic query. I save the module, the content block, and I go to refresh the blog posts. Perfect. Here is our new design for our related post section. It's dynamic and cool and definitely looks amazing with our page. Related posts do not have a preset design, so thanks to the fact that they are made with a content block, they can be modified as you like. You can visualize them with another stage padding carousel design, a grid masonry layout, a fluid design, or any other visualize option you can create with a post module of Uncode. Will you use a related post section on your site?